Hi, I'm Charlie Frost, and on previous episodes of the 24MX Workshop, we went through five essential items for your dirt bike, one of which was this hour meter by 20. On today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to install it on your dirt bike. Let's do it. So the job of the hour meter is for people that like to remove the speedos from their bikes to prevent damaging them. Now what this little gadget does is it sits on the bike and it connects to the HT lead from the coil so it tracks the hours the bike does. So for piston changes or regular servicing you can have this little gadget on your bike and it keeps a track of the engine running hours instead of using the speedometer. So we're going to install this onto the beta. So the first things first is to remove the seat and the tank so we can get to the spark plug and then we can install it somewhere nice and hidden out of the way in the airbox. Different models, different bikes have different sort of areas you can fit this, but we're gonna fit this one down in the airbox. So without further ado, we'll take the seat and the tank off. So we're just gonna remove all the mounting bolts that hold the tank on. Just a few simple eight mil bolts. Then we'll disconnect the fuel line, making sure the fuel is obviously turned off. Now, obviously on a carburetor, you have the straight fuel line. TPIs, fuel injection bikes won't have this, but disconnect the fuel line so they don't have fuel go all over the floor, making sure the tap is obviously turned off. And now we can then lift the tank. Just disconnect the uh, mapping switch. Pop that down there for now, out of the way. So we'll just give it a bit of a clean up because obviously it's quite dirty under here. So I want to make sure all the surface is nice and clean. So when we fit our uh, owl meter, it can stick to the plastic. So now that we've got the tank removed, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the HT lead or the ignition coil, whichever you want to call it. We'll unplug the spark plug cap. and just remove that from the top of the spark plug because this is what we're going to be wrapping our pickup wire around from the owl meter so I'm going to wrap it around this lead here so that's what will pick up the um, the live feed should we say from the bike running which will then clock the hours on the owl meter so in the case of this bike what I think we're going to do is we're going to position the owl meter just tucked down in here so when we stick it it's nice and secure out of the way we can still get the battery out then we're just going to feed the pickup wire down through here to the coil lead or the ht lead or ignition coil and then pretty simple job and it keeps it nice and hidden under the frame out of the way so now we're going to install our pickup wire the job of the pickup wire is in the top of this hour meter is where it senses and picks up the vibrations. So this pickup wire here is gonna slide down through this top hole like so. Just gonna poke out the end and then we're gonna pull this bit right down back past it parallel. And then we're gonna stick it in the air box just here. And then you'll see later on where the other end, other end of this pickup wire goes. Now the job of the pickup wire is to connect to the coil, or the HT lead or ignition coil, whatever you wanna call it, and that is to pick up the RPM, but also to clock the hours when the engine is running. So obviously when the engine is turned off, the hours will stay the same. But as soon as the bike starts and kicks into life, once the pulses come through that HT lead, it will then clock the running hours of the engine. So on the back of the hour meter, you've got this sticky pad. So we're gonna peel the protective cover off and then simply gonna install this nice and snug just down in here so it's out of the way of any cables and obviously we can still get to the battery when needed so like i said we, we can still get the battery in and out but it's going to be nice and tucked out of the way under the seat and then we're going to run our pickup wire now down through the frame 
making sure it's nice and tight down that side there. I go down through here, making sure we don't cross over any cables on its way down. I'm going to go over the top of the throttle cable and then poke it just through the top of the engine mounts. Double checking we've not crossed over any of the cables. So now we can move around to the top part. So for the next step, we're going to need the little zip tie that comes with the arm eater. What we're going to do is going to grab the HT lead and we're going to wrap our pickup wire just around here three or four times, wrap it nice and tight. And then what we're going to do then with that leftover piece we've got there, we're going to keep them nice and tight between our fingers. We're going to get the little cable tie, go around the top and bottom, hopefully that letting go. And then we're going to simply pull that cable tie nice and tight. And then before we, before we put any tighter, we're just going to pull on both ends of the pickup wire, just making sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't come loose. Like that. And then we're going to pull the cable tie nice and firmly. And then if you want to, as you can see, like that, you can pull on one end to tighten it up, vice versa, just making sure that it's nice and snug in there like so. Double check the cable tie is tight. I'm going to cut the excess of the cable tie off. And we'll be able to tuck the excess pickup wire out of the way. So now as you can see, it's connected at this end. It's nice and tight, so it won't go anywhere. And we're going to simply reinstate the spark plug cap on top it's quite fiddly because it's quite quite a tight fit up in here and then click it down to place like that and then the rest of the pickup wire we're just going to pull back through and we'll tuck it out of the way up here what we can do with our leftover cable tie that we've got we can cable tie this just up in here. So the remainder of the cable we've got tucked up in here, it's out of the way. Just gonna make sure it's not intervening any other cables. So now that we've got the tank installed back into place, we're gonna leave the seat off for now so we can obviously check that the meter is working. So we're gonna get the bike started. So by a simple click of this button down here, without the engine running, you'll see that shortly it will say 0.0. .0. So we know that it's connected properly. And when the engine is running, also it will pick up the RPM. So you can see the revs when the bike is running. And also the hour meter will count up. Um, so if any maintenance work you want to do, highly recommend one of the hour meters. That was a video tutorial on how to fit an hour meter onto a dirt bike. I hope it's very informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.